Facing a financial crisis with car payments and wondering how to navigate the road ahead? Hi, I'm Kevin Hunter, also known as The Homework Guy and the author of Is That the Best You Can Do? Today I'm going to discuss deferred payments, changes that are happening in the automotive industry, and in the end, some strategies on how to deal with a potential repossession of your vehicle if things are getting that bad for you. It has always been important to talk to your banker if you have concerns about your car loan, but especially when you're in the midst of a national crisis, you have plenty of options, and I wanted to make sure you're aware of all of them. Before I start, if this is your first time here, you might consider subscribing to the channel, and if you have a specific question you'd like a direct answer on, you can either tag me in the comment section below or send me an email to info at thehomeworkguy.com. I try to get back to as many people as I can, and I have help from staff checking in on your comments and emails too. I also do free car contract reviews. Just black out any personal information and send me a copy. I'll be happy to tell you what can be fixed, changed, or canceled. Okay, I wanted to do this video for my viewers because I'm keenly aware that some of you have painted yourself into a corner with car payments. You looked the other way. Maybe you misunderstood. You didn't find this channel in time. Or you put trust in the wrong person in a dealership finance office somewhere and you let them talk you into paying a lot of fees and putting a bunch of junk policies into your last car loan. Now you're in dire financial straits between a rock and a hard place. There are four vehicles in my driveway. You know how many of them have car payments? None. I'm not trying to rub this in your face. I'm trying to teach you a lesson. Things are tough right now and some of you are learning hard lessons that shouldn't take a crisis for you to understand. It cripples you to finance cars long term or to finance vehicles without putting your own cash into the car deal. Odds are you'll suffer financial inconvenience if not significant hardship if you do this. You've heard me say many times, if you finance, select the shortest term possible. Wherever possible, pay cash. Car payments are not a necessary or automatic part of life. Here's the good news for those of you who are in a tough position right now. Several automakers have announced options to defer payments for customers with existing car loans. Many of them are deferring payments for four months. With all things, you must read all the details, so ask good questions. But by all means, ask. This might be exactly what you need to do right now. For those of you who didn't finance with an automaker and instead used your own bank or credit union or one of the many dealership finance options like Santander, Capital One, Chase, Wells Fargo, Ally, just to name a few, contact them immediately if you're having trouble making your payments. Many are working with their customers right now. If you're watching this video and you just went through this with your own bank or credit union or one of the automaker finance options I mentioned and you got your payments delayed, please share your experiences in the comment section below to help others navigate these waters. I thank you in advance. It's critical that we help each other out right now. The last thing we want to see is a flood of repossessions because people didn't know or didn't act in time. Also, many of you have asked me if this is a good time to buy a car. The answer is yes. It's simple economics. When supply is high, demand is low, the price of anything goes down. Until things turn around, the deals are going to get better and better as dealerships try to navigate or figure out these waters. That said, it's not a time to be financially stupid, and there's never been a time to be more diligent about where your money goes. If you do visit a dealership, watch every detail like a hawk. I'm getting emails with horror stories right now from buyers who let their guard down. One lady had her entire down payment just evaporate like she didn't put a dime into her car deal. She emailed me the car contract. If you thought finance officers would give up trying to fleece you in the process, you'd be grossly wrong. In fact, when money is tight, they tend to act even more desperate than ever before. Do your due diligence and only do business with good dealerships. This is a good time to let some of the bad actors and bad dealerships go out of business. It's time to clean house. For those of you thinking about buying a brand new car right now, the flexibility from manufacturers with financing is also aimed at boosting new car sales during a time of uncertainty. Ford Motor Company's credit unit is offering new vehicle customers the option to delay their first payment by 90 days. Nissan is launching a similar program. Hyundai will defer payments for select cars by 90 days and provide up to six months of payment relief for customers who lose their job. Ford, Nissan, General Motors, and Toyota also said they will provide payment relief options to customers, including extensions and deferred lease payments. Just because I didn't mention your favorite manufacturer doesn't mean they aren't doing something. Search them, call them, ask what their options are. If you called and got specific details from your manufacturer, please provide those details in the comments section below. If you take advantage of any of these manufacturer offers, make sure you ask about penalties and fees they might attach to the offers. It's unlikely, but please ask. Now... 
It's time that all of you, if you aren't already starting to take an entirely different approach to vehicle ownership, you need to. Some of you just got a big smile on your face and you're running off to go get popcorn right now because Kevin's about to open a can of you know what. Well, seriously, listen, please. For your own good, you have to stop thinking about affordability based on car payments. Stop wondering how far you can put off your final payoff date. Far too many Americans have allowed themselves to get sucked into these selfish and greedy advertising by car dealerships that have led you to believe that zero cash down 84-month car loans are somehow good. Many of you actually describe a good deal based on how much you're paying a month. You keep asking me, hey, the dealership is advertising a 0% 72-month deal right now. Do you think that's good? The answer is only if you're using that term to get 0% and then rapidly paying off the balance, like in 36 months or less. However, let me ask you something. If a lion was laying in the grassy savanna with a donut dangling on a string, would you be asking me, hey, the lion is advertising free donuts. Do you think that's good? You know, I might want a donut, but I don't like the merchant. You get what I'm saying? Remember that all these finance deals are offered by a dealership, a type of business that has a reputation for lying to you about everything, and suddenly you think an advertised deal is good for you? Come on, really? Do you see what's wrong here? U.S. auto loans have been climbing steadily, and in the fourth quarter of last year, $16 billion was added to an already staggering $1.33 trillion nationwide in auto loans. More than 7 million Americans are 90 days or more behind in their car loans, and serious delinquency rates among the borrowers with the lowest credit scores have by far seen the fastest acceleration. You see how bad a bad car deal is for you, especially when something outside your control happens? I've been ready for this day because I haven't saddled myself with debt. No car payments, no credit card payments. Do you see how important this is? Not only does a debt-free household help you build personal wealth, but it insulates you from the many catastrophic financial dilemmas that people face. Do you need things to blow up to see how important this is? I'm guessing there aren't many people making fun of Dave Ramsey right now. You catch my drift? Can I hear a big financial freedom cheer from my audience? Yeah! In the days ahead, I'm traveling to some of the dealerships who have reached out to me and we're going to start showing the car business what it has to do to change. Thank you to all the dealers who are understanding and embracing what I'm doing in the car business. Together, we're going to change it for the better. To my viewers, whether you appreciate it or not, I'm going to continue giving you a steady diet of financially responsible advice. And yes, look for upcoming content on buying cars private party and how to do it as a buyer or seller without taking unnecessary risk and having issues down the road. There's a number of things you need to know when buying and selling cars from your neighbor or a stranger, but you're definitely going to get a better deal, like 95% of the time. As far as market projections go with manufacturers and car dealers, there are many. Some automakers have announced delays or suspension of production with some or all of their vehicles. All forecasts for vehicle production and automotive sales for the U.S. market have been reduced. You'll see sharp declines in new cars on dealership lots. In total, millions fewer cars will be sold this year, making it more than a little tough for the auto industry. I think it presents a perfect time to implement much-needed changes and reinvent the adversarial and predatory sales model that many dealerships have used. As promised, the last piece of advice on this video is for those of you who are behind on your car payments and facing a looming repossession of your vehicle. If you've exhausted all your options and you have a banker who will not work with you, here's what I suggest you do next. Even if you're financially upside down, meaning you owe more money on the car than it's worth, you have options and you have to act fast. First, contact the dealership you bought the vehicle from and immediately cancel all products you have on your car contract. Things like service plans, extended warranties, wheel and tire insurance, gap insurance, disability insurance, life insurance, glass breakage protection. Anything that sounds like insurance of any kind, call the dealer you bought the car from and cancel all of them right now. It's called the chargeback, a well-known and much disliked phrase in the car business, but the dealership must cancel them and take the stuff off your loan balance. Get your chargebacks done right away because you have to do this at a minimum. Make sure you use the phrase chargeback Back with any of the dealers who give you pushback. They will know you talked to an insider and got some advice on this and likely just back off. Then there's a follow-up step to prevent a repossession from showing up your credit and ruining your credit for years to come. Put your car up for sale right now and sell it yourself. Don't wait for the repo truck. You don't need that. You get a ton more out of it by selling yourself much more than the bank ever will. If necessary, take out a personal loan for the balance and then pay off the lien holder on your car loan. You can meet the buyer at your bank and get this done in one transaction. If you think the headache of a repossession will go away, it won't. You'll be out of a car, 
You'll have severely damaged credit and you'll still owe the bank a big chunk of money. They'll sue you and take you to court over the difference. Don't do that to yourself. This isn't the time to chicken out and bury your head in the sand. Handle the problem on your terms, not theirs. Wow, that was really tough news, wasn't it? As many of you know, the Homework Guy store is now open and our popular Is That the Best You Can Do shirts are available by request. We also made it available in women's sizes and colors and include tank tops, t-shirts, long sleeve shirts, sweatshirts, hoodies, and even a coffee mug. Let me know what else you'd like to see. Since I can't get out and travel at the moment, I'll be glad to send mugs or shirts to people who share great stories or experiences down in the comment section that are helpful to other buyers. Ask and your odds of getting a gift are relatively high. I love helping people. And I know this message, is that the best you can do, is going to become a leading slogan of change in the car business. The bad dealers in the business are going to fear seeing people in that shirt. As I already mentioned, the store link is in the description box below. Everything is being sold very close to cost to give everyone the chance to have one. All right, if you appreciated the video today, consider giving us a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section below. Share the video on social media with your friends. Maybe visit the Homework Guy store links below and wear the Is That the Best You Can Do shirt to the dealership when you're out car shopping. Or get a coffee mug and set it on the finance officer's desk when you start listening to their pitch. That would be awesome. And for those of you who want to say thanks with the tip, you guys are amazing. I'll leave the PayPal link in the description box below. I've helped millions of car buyers with videos and now we're offering free car contract reviews we hope to make it your lucky day on a car lot in the future as we do contests and help a few people with down payment assistance on their next car. You, my friend, are a part of the change coming to the car business. I'll be back soon with your next big concern on my next video about car shopping. I do hope to meet some of you in your city in the future. Thanks everyone for coming back. I'm off now to climb the rock wall with my kiddos. I'm Kevin Hunter. Until next time, take care everyone.